Hi guys, guess what? It's fall. It is rainy and beautiful outside. It's very crisp and autumnal, and we have grenadine now because of our recent rooftop cocktail video, so I figured let's make a very quick, simple, three ingredient autumnal grenadine cocktail. And my favorite one of those is the blinker. It's a really, really simple drink, uh, classic, made with just rye whiskey, grapefruit juice, and grenadine. So let's make it and talk about it. To start off with, I will squeeze some grapefruit juice and I'll do this on camera as opposed to just having grapefruit juice ready to go for you because I wanted to show you how I squeeze grapefruit for cocktails. It's a little bit different from how I squeeze lemon or lime juice. You'll usually see me or a lot of other people using those kind of hammer type squeezers that really mash every single bit of juice out of a lemon or lime or even an orange for cocktails. But with grapefruits, you have to be a little bit more delicate. And the reason why is the oils in the grapefruit skin are extremely bitter, which can be delicious in some drinks, but you wanna have control over that bitterness, which means you have to be more delicate when you're juicing a grapefruit and not get too much of the oil from the skin into your juice. So those hammer squeezer type things will do that and you wanna be just a little bit more simple with it. So rather than use any fancy tools at all, I'm just gonna go right into a sieve and bowl just with my hands. I'm not gonna use a muddly master tool. I'm not gonna use a hammer squeezer. I'm just gonna go straight in with my hands. For the blinker, we only need an ounce of grapefruit juice anyway, so we don't need to go crazy here. And yeah, so just delicate juicing, not getting a ton of oil out of the skin going in there just by hand. So our grapefruit juice is juiced and we are ready to make this very simple three ingredient cocktail. First ingredient into the shaker is going to be our homemade grenadine, which we made on Rooftop Cocktail Time episode eight. You should watch that. And all we need is half an ounce of grenadine. And one ounce of our grapefruit juice. The Blinker cocktail, by the way, was invented in the 1930s, most likely by a guy named Patrick Duffy. It was published in this 1934 cocktail book, got popularized in about 1948, about 15, 14, 15 years later, in the fine art of mixing drinks. But yeah, it is sort of considered a relative of the Brown Derby cocktail, which is a rye grapefruit honey cocktail. The major difference just being the sweetener between the honey and the grenadine, which for me is brilliant because there's something about honey and grapefruit together which is nice, but can be a little bit cloyingly sweet, whereas I feel like the grenadine just is a little bit more tart and more balanced. So yeah, for this blinker, we have our half ounce grenadine, ounce of grapefruit, and all we need is two ounces of rye. I really do like a bottled in bond uh, rye for this, which means it's a higher proof. In this case, we're at 100 proof with the Rittenhouse. So yeah, uh, I would recommend this brand if you can find it. And we're done building the drink. All we need to do is shake, which I'm going to do on a nice big clear ice shaking rock. And if you want to know how to make these and all their other kinds of great crystal clear ice shapes, episode four of Rooftop Cocktail Time, you'll see it. So we have our shaking rock in the big tin, soup in the small tin. And for a big rock shaking method, what I like to do is just give it a few small shakes at first, build up a little bit of a chill in the shaker. and immediately you'll see that some frost has started to form on the sides of the shaker. And at that point, give it one hard hit and that will really firm up the seal and then you can shake much harder after that. You can actually probably hear I'm trying to roll the cube around the shaker and that's so I don't crack the big ice inside the shaker but I'm more just trying to roll it around so that not that much ice is actually getting diluted into the drink. 
It's just being sort of used almost like a, uh, like a BB in an aerosol container. The whole point of shaking a drink is to aerate the ingredients, and as you can tell, there's a lot of air escaping right now, which is great. So we did our job. Now we just need a nice frosty chilled glass. I'm using a Nick and Nora for this, which is perfect for the volume of this drink. And we will strain. So yeah, that's the blinker. As simple as it could be, it is probably my favorite early autumn drink. Couldn't be simpler. It's just rye whiskey, grapefruit, and grenadine. Yeah, it's really awesome. As a shaken drink that does not require lemon juice or lime juice, I find it really interesting. I feel like usually our shaken citrus cocktails have this very acidic bite, whereas the blinker is a little bit mellow. It's not as bright and bracing as the kind of malic acid that you get from lime juice. It really sort of has a soft mouthfeel. And that's partially because we juiced the grapefruit very delicately and we didn't get a lot of oils from the skin. So what we have is a very sort of mellow citrus grenadine sort of tartness balancing out the uh, the rye whiskey and that nice pomegranate flavor from the grenadine as well. So yeah, that's it. Um, Make grenadine and make blinkers. And I wanted to show you how I squeeze grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice? <laughs>